Hey everyone, this is Bev from Art by Bidel, and I have a fun new project to share with you today. We, um, these are available on my Etsy page, and today I'm going to show you how to make them also. They are more of my sketch, from my sketch flower series, and here I have the tulip, and this is an envelope, as you can see. And inside the envelope, this is the front side, here's the back, but inside the front of the envelope, we have a little pocket that has a piece of stationery in it. And this stationery has been embossed with white embossing powder, and you can open it up, and there's room for journaling. And then that goes back in your card, your envelope, like this. So here's the sketched flower. And then we have the back side that has this altered paper clip on it to hold it onto your page. It's very simple paper clip. And here is the flap of our envelope. And you can see there's machine stitching, there's vintage buttons, and some white embossing. And we open it up and inside we have a mini journal. This mini journal, the cover has been made out of my um, um, cleanup paper and I'll have a video I'll list below for you to see how I make this. And then inside we have some coffee stained paper. This one was done with a stencil. And there are eight pages. Eight pages? Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, sixteen pages front and back. Okay. Pretty simple project, but it's going to make a really big impact in your journal. And you can um, create it to match any journal that you are working on just by changing things up a little bit. So let's get started. I would like to show you the whole collection. So here's our tulip. Our lilac. Whether it's easier, I think it's probably easier for you to see if I just set them down. The lilac. And they're all pretty much, as far as the structure of them, they've all used the same cleanup paper, um, coffee stain paper. The difference is going to be the little label down here with the word on it and, of course, the flower. And then we have a daylily. An anemone. A daisy, sweet pea, primrose, carnation, magnolia, a tulip, a coneflower, Hellebore, snowdrop, and crocus. Oops, and then a daffodil, our spring flowers. So you'll see some different flowers in, in these that are what have been on my Etsy page as far as the spring flower collection set one. We now have sets two and three. So let's get started. First off, we have just a plain envelope. You can use whatever size envelope that you want to use for this project. Everything will just be sized up or down according to the size of your envelope. The first thing I want to do is take my envelope and I'm going to open it up. Now, if you have, oh, I said first thing, but the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take them, which this one has already been done, and I'm gonna spray it with some ink. Any of these steps, of course, can be altered to your taste, your desires. This is just, I'm showing you how I do mine. So I sprayed it with some spray that I had made out of Tim Holtz Distress Peel Paint and sprayed that on along with some coffee. The next thing I want to do is to open this up. Now, if you have sprayed yours with ink, they apparently have gotten wet and that's going to help you to open these up easier because it's going to... Um, make the glue so it's not as strong in there. There we go. So I've opened my envelope up and I'm gonna work with the um, flap to the right. 
And then the, I want to take some of my cleanup paper, which is what I have here. And this is going to be glued down on the flap and ha the half of the front of the main part of the envelope. And then I have some dictionary paper. Nope, not yet. I have some ledger paper. This is Louisa Heinzel's um, ledger paper. It's German ledger paper. Uh, it's just sometimes nice to put different, different papers in your journal with different languages on them, okay? So that needs to be torn down just a little. And then I want to add some ink to the edge of this. And the ink that I'm using is tea dyed distress ink. I have my little applicator tool. You can use makeup sponges if you don't have applicator tool. Uh, you could even use a cotton ball. Okay, and I'll just ink that up. And the glue that I'm using is my tacky glue, Aline's tacky glue, and I finally got myself a new bottle. The other ones were done. And I'm going to, on the ledger paper, I'm going to ink up the whole, the whole piece. Ink up, I said ink up. I am going to glue the whole piece down. Okay, and I want this so it peeks out from underneath my cleanup paper here. So probably about, right about there is where I want to put it. And then for my cleanup paper on the flap, I'm going to glue that whole edge. You, of course, will use the glue that's your favorite glue to use. And then I'm going to glue along the top and along the bottom, just a little stream of it there. And put my paper down, lining it up with the edge of the flap and pressing that down. Now, being that I only went across the top and across the bottom, then I have created a pocket here. And that's where our piece of stationery is going to go inside. So I'll make sure I got way to the edge of this. Okay. And then I'm going to fold my flap so I know where my flap is at. Now I have the edge of my flap here. The next thing I want to put down here is a piece of dictionary paper. And I've taken a strip and I have torn it from a page. And I want to make it, oh probably about three quarters of the way. And then I want to ink up the edges of that with my tea dyed ink again. And then I'm going to glue that down. And this is creating my little collage here along the flap edge. And then the other piece I'm going to ink up and put it on the flap. And I'll put that a little bit lower than the one on the front of the envelope. Then I have a piece of ledger paper that I used over here. I want to tear a piece of that off and ink up the edges and glue that on top of the flap part, right about there. So I have a piece of lace that I want to use and I'm going to glue that right down probably about, oh, a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the flap. I'll put a stream of glue and put my lace down. Now the next thing I want to decide is what I want to put on the front of my envelope. So let's see what we have in here that we might want to use. This one would work all right. No, that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to let this stick out like that a little bit too. So I'm going to put a little ink on the edge of that. Okay, so I've inked that up. Before I glue it down, I want to have something to other, of course I could just use the lace on this one. The other ones were kind of sticking out like here, and then it looked like they were just kind of suspended. So I was putting some cheesecloth down to give them a base to stand on. I'm still going to use the cheesecloth because I like it on there. There we go. Let's put this up so it's underneath like this. All right, let's glue this down. And then we'll glue our fern down. Now we wanna remember we have a pocket here. 
So anything that sticks out beyond this cleanup paper needs to not be glued. Otherwise, we're going to close our pocket close. So about halfway down here, and I'll mark that with a stream of glue now, we don't want to put any glue. So let's just get this in place. And I don't want to go beyond the seam for our, our flap here either. Press it down nice and securely to make sure it's nice and firmly on there. And then I like to use a piece of this packaging. And I just stretch it, rip it up, fold it up. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of it or one side of it. I don't know that there's a front or back actually to this. And put that down here by our cheesecloth. I think I want it to go like that. Then I wanna put a label on here. The label I have is from Calico Collage. They're on Etsy. And this one is one that says embrace. So I'm gonna ink up the edges of that. And then I like to make it dimensional. So I'm going to take a piece of pantry cardboard, thin spaghetti, and I'm going to take my label Add enough glue all the way around the edge of it and on the inside of it. And I'm going to glue that to my pantry box, like here. Make sure that's nice and secure before we start to cut that. All right, take our scissors and cut that. And then I want to put another layer on so it's a little bit thicker. So we're going to do the same thing again. And then we're going to cut that out. Perfect. We'll take and ink the edge up of this really well. And I also want to, I want to go around the outside edge of that with some rub-ons. And I have Antique Gold Rub and Buff. And I'll just put a little bit on my finger and go right around the outside edge of that. And then we'll glue that in place. A little bit on our cheesecloth, a little bit on our packaging, keeping it inside the piece of cleanup paper, mixed media paper. Now along this white side edge here, which is the front, and this, which is the back, this part here, I want to do some stamping with a script stamp, and this is a Hero Arts. It's called F2674 Long Writing something. It's worn off, and it's by Hero Arts. I have my Versamark ink, and I'm going to ink up my stamp and stamp right along the front edge. And right along the right hand edge of our back. And I have some white embossing powder. I'll take a spoon and sprinkle this on my paper. Right over top of the Versamark and that adds as my, or works as my embossing ink. Shake off all the excess, and then I'll take my heat gun and I'll melt this. I'll start at the top and I'll work my way down and watch as it melts so that when I see it start to get shiny, I'll know it's melted and then I'll move forward so I don't burn it. So over here on this side, which is our flap, we want to add a little button. So to create my little buttons, all I did was I took a piece of the um, this paper, the cleanup paper, and then a piece of ledger paper, or you could use what we've used here on the side or whatever you used on the side. I cut a one and an eighth, punched a one and an eighth inch circle, one and a quarter inch circle here, and a one inch circle here. And then I took a vintage button and put a little bit of rub and buff on it 
and stitched it on to my paper. I'm going to take this and I am going to add my glue and put this on my little collage element here, this little cluster area. Okay, so that completes the whole front. We'll set that aside for just a minute and we're gonna make our paper clip. So I have a, well, must be a two inch paper clip. I wanna put the longest point, the longest edge here down. My paper clip is going to be going onto my envelope in this direction. I'm going to have this long edge down. I'm going to take a piece, a piece of my cleanup paper. I'm going to stick it inside and I'm going to fold the top edge down just like that. And then this flap I'm going to glue down. Now I also want to add a piece of lace to it. So I have this piece of lace that's probably maybe three inches long. And I'm going to slide that in underneath this short end of the clip here, right on top of my piece of mixed media paper. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue this edge down. And on the front, I'm going to glue it down at the top also to get it so that it's going where I want it to go. So now we have a paper clip that looks like this. I want to put a button on that also. So I've done the same thing, one and an eighth inch circle and a one inch circle out of two different papers, put a little bit of rub and buff on my vintage button and sewn it on. And I'll put some glue on the back of that and glue that down on top. Then I have this, um, dictionary definition of wonderful and I am going to ink up the edge of that and this is from my porch prints and they're also on Etsy it's a digital and I'm going to add a little piece of which I didn't do on my other ones but I have it here available to me so I'm going to a little piece of packaging underneath my dictionary print I'm going to put it down here like this, put some glue on my label, and tip it a little. And then we have this for our paper clip. And this paper clip is what's gonna hold our envelope onto our page. We'll set that aside to dry, and we're going to make our journal page. So I have of copy paper that has been copied stained and I have folded it and cut it in half to make this size and we'll fold that. And then I've taken both of the edges and folded them back just a little bit on the front and on the back. And then I'm going to take my stamp, my same strip stamp with my Versamark ink and stamp on top of that. both edges I take my white embossing powder again spread that on top of my stamped image with my Versamark tap off all the excess front and back and then I will heat emboss this again starting at the top watching it melt and then moving down I will take my glitter glue and I'm gonna glue these um, flaps back and along the bottom edge. Secure that down. And do the same thing to the front side or back side, whichever one you started with first. And secure that down. And that creates our piece of stationery. Now to create our mini journal, we're gonna take two pieces of eight and a half by 11 coffee stained paper. I'm going to fold them in half, try to get them lined up as best as I can. And then I'm going to cut just a sliver off this long side here. Now they're both trimmed and we're going to fold them in half again. 
Okay, so now we have our booklet. We're going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. So we're gonna find the center of our pages, the center fold here, open them up, take an awl and poke a hole right in the center and then one to the left about halfway and one to the right about halfway. We have our needle threaded with some waxed cording and we're going to go down through the middle hole, hold on to a tail, out through the top hole, back through the bottom hole, and back down through the middle. When you go back down through the middle, you want to stay to the opposite end. You have your thread and you have this tail on the left hand side. We want to come back up through the right hand side. You pull it a little taunt and tie a knot. Okay, guys, this is called Bev making a mistake. We're going to take this all apart and I'll show you what I did wrong. I forgot to add my cover. So I'll put my cover on and poke my holes in the cover right through the holes that I had previously poked in my paper and start this again. So I'm going to go down through the middle hole on the outside, save a tail, up through, out through the right hand top hole, skip the middle, come back to the center of the book through the bottom hole, making sure we come out on the opposite end of this thread here, like this, pull it taunt, tie a knot, and that creates your little mini journal. Trim this off, fold it up. Now on this edge, we wanna take our script stamp again with our Versamark, and stamp right on the edge of our paper, of our cover. Coat that with some white embossing powder. Tap off all the excess and heat set. Again, starting at the top. When it starts to melt, it gets melted shiny and then move it down. Next to the binding here, to the edge of our mini journal, we want to add a stream of glue and put on our piece of lace. That's a little bit big. When it dries, I'll trim it off. And there we have our mini journal. Now our next step is to take our cover that we made and I'm going to go over, this is optional, I am going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around everything, making sure these flaps are open so that I don't stitch them in. If you don't have a sewing machine or don't want to stitch and you would like the effect of stitching lines, then you can take a pen and just draw some, some, some lines all the way around it. I will do a zigzag stitch, so I will be back. All right, I have it all machine stitched all the way around and we're going to put our envelope back together. So we want to flip it over so that we have this bottom edge here, our two side flaps here. We have our flap for our envelope up here and the bottom edge is going to be folded up and then we're going to take our glue and we're going to glue that back in place. And I am using my art glitter glue for this. Make sure it's all nice and secure and do the other flap. Okay, so we have our envelope all put back together. Now, what we want to do now, what I want to do now is take my rub and buff, my antique gold rub and buff, and I'm gonna go around all the edges of this. A little bit on my finger and hit the edges. I'm going to rub a little bit on my embossing randomly. Okay, so I have my front done. I want to do my flap and I want to do the uh, around the edge of my back. And again on my embossing, 
And around the edge, I see I have some paper I need to trim off here. And I want to go around the edge of the inside of my flap also. Our envelope's done. We're going to take our mini journal and let's cut off the excess ribbon or lace that we have on here. And take our rub and buff and go around the outside edge of the front and a little bit on our embossing. And then around the outside or the back side edge. And then we're going to also do our piece of stationery. And again, hit a little bit on our embossing. We have our stationery. So let's put this all together. Oops, let's take our, almost forgot our paper clip. A little bit around the outside edge of our paper clip. The front of our envelope where we have made the pocket and our piece of stationery that we created. And I like to tuck the side that's folded in. It's easier for that to go in than it is for the side that's open. Do however you feel. And we have our piece of stationery on the front. And then on the back side, we'll open up our envelope. We will take our mini journal and slip that down inside. Just like so. Making sure all your glue and everything is dry before you go doing this. We'll close it up and then we'll take our paper clip and paper clip this closed like so. Or to the edge of your page. And there you have your envelope with your stationery. You have a pocket here. And then when you open it up, you have a mini journal on the inside. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you make one of your own. Um, make sure you go see all of the ones that I have done previously that are on the Etsy page. And as an added, that project's done. Let me show you that we also have more of our panels back in stock on our Etsy page. And these are with all the new flowers and actually all three sets of flowers. These panels, um, I have had on the Etsy page before, and um, I was I am now restocking them, and of course doing the new ones. Before they were sold by the set, now they're going to be sold by the piece instead of a set. So you can pick out which flowers you want instead of having to buy all five and only wanting like two of them. We will sell them by the piece and you can pick out the ones that you want. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Come back and see us again soon and um, take care. Be safe. Bye now.